concerns you more? Hackers trying to steal your credit and debit card information from retailers or government agencies having access to your personal online information. Who are these hackers? Well, you're looking at one right there. That's Vinny Troya. And uh, we welcome you, Vinny. And before everybody gets excited, we want to give a, a due uh, access to your title, which is uh, an ethical, a certified ethical hacker. I am ethical, that's right. That sounds kind of like an oxymoron. Well, I mean, companies. Uh Companies need to test their defenses, and so they bring in people like me to test them out and make sure that the hackers can't get in. How good are you? 100% success rate. Yeah, and you, you used to work with the feds? Um, a lot of work out at Scott Air Force Base. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as you know, all this talk with the NSA, and then the president recently saying changes are being made, a lot of this access has always been out there, has it not? It has, and so you have companies even like Google who are mining just tons and tons of data all the time on search engines, uh, search patterns, um, user information, the Gmail services, everything that they can in order to sell you advertising. So what's going on now really isn't something that's new. Um, I think it's just a shock because it's being done by the government. Let's cut down to the basics as far as our own personal information, everything that we put out there on the Internet. What can we do to better protect ourselves? I think it comes down to looking at the privacy settings on your phones, for example. I mean, location um, settings are turned on on pretty much every phone. If you don't want people to know where you are, turn it off. Um, don't post pictures that you don't want floating around the Internet. I, I get it from people all the time. I have pictures surfacing everywhere else. Well, they got there somehow, so don't, don't post them. I mean, just be careful about what you put on the Internet. I've even had people ask, well, is it okay to use public Wi-Fi when I'm doing bank transactions? I'm like, no, no. never. <laughs> you know, just simple things like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, public Wi-Fi happens to be one of those things where you really don't know where you're connecting to. I mean, it could be someone's laptop sitting right next to you, and they could be reading your signals. What is more secure, a personal uh, iPhone or, or an Android or your laptop? I, I mean, it, it really kind of depends. I mean, I, I'm an Apple user, so I would, of course, say iPhone. I mean, there's certainly uh, much more malware running around for Android phones where you can steal the data more easily. What is one of the biggest mistakes people make when losing financial information? Um, I'd say it comes down to just being careful about where you're putting your in information. I mean, people receive emails all the time. They accidentally click on a link, and all of a sudden they've given up their personal information, or they, you know, they, they follow these phishing emails, and they don't know where they're putting their information, but they do it anyway. I, I could talk to you all day, but you your business is called Nightline Security. And uh, do you ever work with individuals or primarily businesses? Uh, both. Okay. Um, I do receive calls from individuals from time to time. All right. So if people want to get in touch with you, it's Night Lion Security. Will you come back sometime? Absolutely. We'll Thank carry you very on much. This conversation.